Edison desktop or on the phone, they have screens, right? They decide, okay, at the top we're going to put these buttons, at the bottom we're going to put these things, in the middle of the content we're going to have this kind of scroll bar. Somebody, a software designer, um, has to come up with a structure, right, for, for, uh, for their website or for their software. And usually people do a sketch of it on paper. And then, um, and then it becomes, you know, they give it to the developer and, they, and it becomes code. They give it to the designer and it becomes a pretty design, right? Then they put it all together and that's the final product. The problem is uh, this uh, sketching uh, process is a little bit intimidating for people who are not technical. So there's, I, I used to work at, at Adobe. I used to work uh, with a product, uh, project manager, a product manager, a user experience designer, developers, testing, localization, and everybody had some input on what we should do, what we should build next, right? What feature we should build and how we should build it to make it easy to test, easy to use, right? Um, but not everybody had the tool, had a tool that was easy enough for them to collaborate on a le level playing field. Right? So the designers' ideas always won, not because they were better, well, often they were better, but uh, also because they could use Photoshop and the other people couldn't. Right? So the business person who really knew what the customer wanted often wasn't able to express uh, their ideas uh, for, for what the software should do uh, properly. And so I saw this as a problem in my, on my team as a developer. You know, I, I had this issue too. We would get on the whiteboard a lot, and then I would have to sort of copy it and make it digital. And the developer was in India, for instance, and they were not in, in the same room. So I wanted something that felt like a whiteboard experience or a sketch, but it was digital, so it was easier to collaborate online. And so I built 